Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Panini Prism Baseball, 12 box, full case. Pick your team, number six from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks everyone right here for getting in on the action. Here on a Chew Tuesday, the 29th, Bob, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Cubbies. Last Spot Mojo, 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. Congrats to the people who won their teams in the blaster box break as well. Thanks everybody for filling that one up too. All right, now let's pop open this case. You can see the case on this face camera right here. Got an empty box right there. Here is three. Six. And right here you can see nine and 12 right there. I'm just gonna keep these off to the side. Now, let's, we're looking for three autographs per box on average. We're looking for color blasts or manga short prints. And then there's a hot box featuring 24 purple ice prisms. It'd be nice if we see some of the, some of the top tier rookies or prospects in that purple ice design. So thanks for the fill everybody and good luck. We got my Dodgers on in the background. They're up four nothing early. on the Diamondbacks, bottom of the second, end of the second. Dodgers up four nothing. Kershaw, day today. So Dodgers staking Kershaw to a four nothing run, uh, lead already early in the game, which is good. That might, that might mean Kershaw can pitch a little more loose, not have to worry about We're about giving up a, a solo home run or two. You know, maybe can maybe have an early night if the Dodgers keep scoring runs. It'll be good. Keep them keep them uh, ready and fresh for the playoffs. with Mario Soto. Good luck, everybody. What are we, uh, what are we shipping out of here? No vet commons will ship, but stuff like those inserts will ship, and Kevin Alcantara for the Cubs will ship. Purple chrome autograph, purple prism autograph for uh, Bob and the Cubs. Last spot mojo striking early. It's 11 out of 99. And of course, we'll do an autograph and other key card recap at the end. Ben Sheets to 99. That'll be for the Brew. Remember Ben Sheets? That's Chad O with the Brewers. And Bobby Miller, nice. Dodgers own Bobby Miller. He's having a nice season. That is for Stephen Carney. Got my Dodgers straight up. Excellent. We got Greg Maddox. 81 out of 199 for the Braves. Tristan with Atlanta. Got a red wave, Michael Bush, not numbered. And a Jared Schuster to 99 
Also for the ATL, that'll be for Tristan. And a Grayson Rodriguez, cracked ice. Or just ice, do they just call it ice now? Ellie De La Cruz, Prismatic. Pete Crow Armstrong, Future Stars. We've got some gold coming up. Bobby Wood Jr. has the RC logo on here, but some of the other rookies don't. Kind of odd. But that'll go to Kip and the Royals. 10 out of 10 on the Walter Ford for Seattle. High leg kick there. A little old school style. Stephen K with the Mariners. Won that in the filler. And we got J.R. Ritchie. Or is it Junior Ritchie? I think it's J.R. Ritchie for Atlanta. Who shot J.R.? Tristan with the Braves. We got Fred Lynn, orange wave to 50. Those pulsars, not number, but that was Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. Moose, red wave, not numbered. And then we got Raleigh Fingers, three out of 75, green scope, and Burt Blylevin ice. Raleigh Fingers will go to D-Y and the A's. Box one in the books. Did I miss the prison break yet? Nice one, Duncan. Duncan is audio only. I think he was joking. Do some people do that when I break? They don't want to look at my face? Is that what you're saying, Chris? They don't want to see my ugly, ugly face. They would rather just listen to my golden, golden voice. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I, I didn't say that. Grizz said that. Grizz said that some people don't want to see my ugly face and they'd rather hear my, my amazing, amazing voice. That's what Grizz says. I think the quality of my voice matches my face. That's what I think. But Grizz saying some people, I don't know who these some people are. Well, that's according to Grizz. Not according to Joe. There's Jack Leiter. Rangers. It's going to go to Mark in Texas. Uh, the, the, I heard the implication, Grizz. It was 10 out of 10, Jack Leiter. That was loud and clear. There's Andy Rodriguez to 199. Rod Carew. You got Cool Papa Bell. Eddie Murray, 25. Kirby Puckett Ice. Prismatic Bobby Witt Jr. Jared Schuster Reds, red to 199 for the Braves. Grizzle Bees is wondering if your Bills have a chance this year. Of course they do. As long as they have Josh Allen out there, yes. 
All right, behind Jack Leiter is Owen Murphy for the Braves. Tristan with Atlanta won that team in the filler. There you go, Max Muncy. And yeah, Max Muncy's been heating up. Wow, seven consecutive games with an extra base hit, says Joe Davis. Nice. There's Lefty Williams to 199. Uh, and you need Vaughn Miller to get back soon? As long as he's around for the playoffs. There's Tink Hentz, 81 out of 99. Nice. Muncie scores on the next at bat. Hence goes to Ryan Harold and the Cardinals. And then we got Emmanuel Rodriguez for Minnesota. That's going to be for Kevin and the Twins. Tory Hunter Blue to 149. Another twin. All right, next box. All right, let's go through some baseball scores. Pirates beat the Royals six to three. Luis Ortiz with the win, and Christian Hernandez with the loss. I think Christian C. Hernandez with the loss. Uh, Cubs, Rex's Cubs have stopped the streaking Brewers. They had won eight in a row until tonight. Cubs narrowly beat them one nothing. Justin Steele, who has been pitching incredibly this season. Did I, did I start him on my fantasy team, Rex? Stop the break. This is important. I'm sure I did. I'm usually pretty good about making sure my starters are, starters are in. What happened here? I did not. Unbelievable. This is why I'm not winning my fantasy league. All right, anyway, Justin Steele with the win. Is Albert, is Albert Alzelin closing for you guys? He's, he's logged in his 22nd save of the season. Corbin Burns taking the, the loss. Uh, in extras, Cardinals beat the Padres six to five. Uh, Guardians beat the Twins 4-2. Bo Naylor, big solo shot for the Guardians. Rangers beat the Mets 2-1. Mitch Garver and the, uh, and the scoreless tie in the seventh. Astros beat the Red Sox 6-2. Bregman, Alvarez go back-to-back -back in the first. Nationals beat the Blue Jays 5-4. Kenzie Gore with the win. Kiva Ruiz hitting a uh, three-run blast. So former Padre with the win, former Dodger with the three-run blast. Orioles beat the White Sox 9-3. Anthony Santander staying hot with a bases clearing double. Marlins fall to the Rays in the battle for Florida. Rays beat them 11-2. Randy Arozarena, two-run shot. The Yankees beat the Tigers 4-2. Glaber Torres unleashes a 454-foot home run. Wow. And the Phillies were, the Angels were leading, but of course... The Phillies came back to beat the Angels 12 to seven. My Dodgers leading the Diamondbacks five to three in the bottom of the third. Giants are also up five to nothing in the top of the sixth. A's leading the Mariners three to one, end of the fourth. And Braves at the top of the ninth leading the Rockies three to one. All right, and that's the whip around the league. And we've got a Noel V. Marte potential penmanship ice parallel for the Reds, Tristan and the Reds. I can't believe, do you know how well the, the uh, Mariners have been playing? They caught the Rangers. The Rangers also have not been playing well. They're three, Rangers are three of seven in their last 10. And uh, Mariners are nine and one in their last 10. 
And it's been happening before that too. Wow, more ribs for the Dodgers. There's James Alman with the with the run scored. Was Jackson Merrill for the Padres to 99. Yeah. Wasn't Al wasn't Albert Alze projected to be a starter, Rex? I mean, maybe he's found yeah, maybe he's found his groove as a as a closer. Yeah, J Rod had had raised his average by a ton. I mean, and has also lifted the lifted the Mariners to to the run that they've been having. I think for like the past month that they they've been winning games like crazy. I feel like a month and a half ago, two months ago, they were down. They were behind like five or six games. To one ninety nine, Andy Rodriguez. Homestead, your favorite team. The old Grays. And then we got Ty Madden for Detroit. That's going to be for Mark and the Tigers. We got Brooks Robinson to 75, Green Scope. No, the, the Yankees are not out of it, mathematically. I mean, they still have 64 wins. That'd be good for second place in the Central. It's crazy as that sounds. No, but mathematically, they're, I mean, they're, they're fast approaching elimination. We got Addison Barger to 149 for the Blue Jays. That's for Ryan. And we've got a Brandon Fat gold autograph for Chris Parent and the Diamondbacks. His last name is is what I usually do with my golf shots. Four out of ten. There's Maglio Ordonez to 199. Although I'm not hitting them thin anymore. I'm not I'm not sculling the ball anymore, so I suppose that's a little bit better. Rex doing exactly what I predicted that he would do earlier today. It's just like Josh Don. Someone's gonna say Rex is gonna say Josh. Is anyone ask to pick up Josh Donaldson just because it's a name? Come on, man. I mean, maybe if someone gets injured, someone picks up Josh Donaldson, right? But he's having like a career, his career worst year. I can't see any actual contender picking him up. Your Cubs should not pick him up if that's where you're asking, Rex. I mean, Cubs are doing fine without any of these retreads that you were asking about earlier today from the Angels, let alone John Donaldson and the Yankees. Donaldson would crush for the Savannah Bananas, Grizzlebees.
There's El Segundo Little League Baseball team at Dodger Stadium. There's Harmon Killebrew to 50. Who, Killebrew? He can kill a brew, but can he dance? I don't know. There's J.R. Ritchie, who shot J.R. I mean, at this stage of the season, Rex, I mean, <laughs> it was just a quite, it was just funny because I, I was saying, I, I, I said <laughs> that it's like asking about Josh Donaldson. Like, no one's going to really ask about Josh Donaldson, not seriously, anyway. Unless there's a major injury to a team, but. I don't know why you would, I mean, you're wasting a roster spot on someone who's having a career bad season. Look how young LaRusso looks here. D.Y. and the A's. I mean, at this stage of the season, there's really nothing to get from the waiver market. Nothing significant anyway. Sure, Cubs need pitching, but, you know, Cubs need pitching in critical games in the playoffs. I mean, maybe if they need someone to fill in the fifth spot in the rotation here and there, maybe that's what they need now. But, you know, you're not going to find anyone that you're going to need that are going to be significant for, significant for the playoffs. Spencer Jones, nice. Up-and-coming player for the Yankees, David M. Yeah, did uh, Larusa played a little bit, right? I don't, know if he, I don't know if he was he made any significant. Yeah, these are managerial stats. As a player, he had 176 at bats. The most at-bats he's had in a season was 106 in 1970 with the Oakland A's. He was with the Kansas City A's. That's right, Grizzlebees. No, you're not going to find an Adbert Alzale on the uh, on the waiver wires. No one, no one's dumping him. Jim Rice to 199. And another Bobby Miller, 21 out of 75. Green Scope Autograph. He's got a nice auto. Good penmanship there. Good job, Bobby. That's going to go to my Dodger, Stephen Carney. Yeah, people, people who are released at this stage of the season, they're either having bad seasons and they want, you know, and they want, uh, they want the roster space for some young time, for some young players or they're having a bad season, plus a salary dump, they're not even worth keeping around for the remainder of the season. It's a pretty, uh, pretty bad year, pretty damning if you're being released at this stage of the season. And really, it's, I mean, it's basically one month left. You start adding players who are gonna, that you're hoping to get extra playing time, Correct. That's true. They might even clear waivers. They might not even clear. If someone picks them up, that other teams could technically still keep them. You pulled off of waivers too. But at, even at this stage, teams aren't really. I don't know. I don't remember anyone of significance in the last. There might be some exceptions to this rule, but I personally don't remember anyone being picked up off of waivers at the end of August, being picked up by any playoff contending team, and then having some kind of you know, significant contribution or making it on a playoff roster.
Because to add one of those players means a current player is going to lose their job. So it's, someone's got to get off a roster to to make room for to make room for a uh, Josh Donaldson, for example. Reynaldo Lopez? What are Reynaldo's Lopez numbers looking like? Oh, he's that re he's the reliever. Reynaldo, guys like the relief pitchers. Re guys like Reynaldo Lopez, I feel like have a better shot at making a roster somewhere. You know, so you got to think that um, that Reynaldo Lopez, you know, you can test out the waters with him, have him. Uh, I feel like that's a that's a player the Cubs should pick up. If anybody, shore up the bullpen. You can always use bullpen help. Not a horrible season for him. Seventy-one strikeouts in fifty-three innings, three eight six ERA. That's the kind of player you pick up. Because then you could just kind of ease him in. You know, an inning here, inning there in a blowout game. And if he's effective, you can, uh, you can keep giving him some better chances. So put him in some higher leverage situations. Nice Zach Veen prospect for the, the Rockies. Ryan Harold. There you go, Ryan on the board. Could be an Oriole. You know, bullpen arms always need the bullpen arms. And it's probably a lot significantly less expensive than some of the other players that were, say, like a Josh Donaldson or a, um, whatchamacallit. These pulsars aren't numbered, by the way. That's why I'm breezing by those. Um, like a Giolito, even. To 75, there's Jace Young. Josh's brother, that's going to be for Mark and the Tigers. And there's Pudge to one forty nine. Grizzlebees are going to tell us the. Uh, oh, were you trying? If you were trying to drop a link, you know by now that we cannot drop URLs in the YouTube chat. There's Jose Salas for the Twins. That'll be for Kevin in Minnesota. And I think the if you're talking post waiver trades or waiver trades. I feel like they changed the rule. It used to be the, the Major League Baseball trading deadline was the end of July, and then the waiver deadline was at the end of August. But I think they, they matched those all up. So like what the Angels did, I almost wanted to say it was like an outright release. No, it's put on waivers. I forget what the rule is then. Oh, I think the waivers at this stage of the season are different. I think this you... I don't know. Someone, someone who knows will tell me. We'll randomize those points. Winner take all on the points. That's, this is to 50, Al Simons. Yeah, those were back in the day where, where I think the waiver deadlines were different. But now the waiver deadlines are the same as the trading deadline, which makes the end of, the end of that July become a little more crazy. 
So I think by the waiver deadline, if my memory, my poor memory serves me correctly, is Joe Morgan in 99, is that before the official waiver deadline, if you put them on waivers and someone claims them, then you have like 24 hours to either make a trade or you retain the player. Or on the other side of it, if you claim a player, like an pr expensive player that gets put on waivers, then there is the risk that, that, you will, that you'll just end up with that player and have to pay that, pay that money. Now, it's the use of waivers, according to the article by Jeff Passan, is in which the Angels essentially give away the players for a $50,000 waiver fee and salary relief. So that's where it's different. So like Bautista, Bagwell, and Glavin back in the day, you know, or when that when you can still do trades, but you can't trading deadlines over, so you can't do trades. These players are essentially released. So, uh, can I ask again? Young owners that seen that he play texting. Honestly, Rex, I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were all three games. But as it stands now, yeah, the Rays would play the Rangers and the Astros would play would play the for the division winning team with the worst record. Or no, the Rays would play the division-winning team with the worst record, which would be the Twins. So the Rain and the Rangers would play the Astros. Right, right, right. Right. The wild card games are all three games, Rex. And then when when whoever those winners are advance to the division round, that division round is where it's. No, are division rounds five games? I think it's still five games, right? And then the CSs and then the World Series is seven games? Sorry, they would advance to the divisional game, the divisional round, which is five games. It's three, five, seven, and seven. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like the divisional round should be seven games, but in basketball, I feel like the first round should be five games. That first round is way too long. Whoa! Wow! Grizzlebees shots fired. Just complete disregard for Rex and his feelings. There's Grayson Rodriguez, Orange Shimmer color match. And we got Quinn, Quinn Priester. That'll go to the Pirates for Mark. There's Oscar Colas, 28 out of 75. Wow, Dun Duncan saying that the Cubs won't even make it. It's okay, Rex. Uh, Grizz is a uh, is a Mets fan, so I think there's some easy ammo there. Yeah, there, there you go. The truth is out. There's Tucker Tolman to 149 for Toronto. Oh no. Oh, Rex. There's Luis Angel Acuna.
That's for the Rangers. That's going to be for Mark. Ronald's brother. Rex is already thinking of 2016 and how far the Phillies went last year. You might have to temper that expectation. You should be happy that the Cubs are where they are. You got Mark McGuire to 199. Actually, yeah, Luis Alan Cunha is with the Mets now. How do we feel about that? Wow, more points. Winner take all the points. That's 1,800 points. It's Connor Norby to 99. To 149, there's Moose for the Yankees. Seems like a solid player. I think so, too. I mean, if, he, if he's even half as good as his brother. Which some people, I've heard some people say that he's really good. So even if he's only as half as good as his brother, I think that'd, that'd be a win. Oh, good, Rex. You've got to temper those expectations for your Cubs. All right. Although, to be honest, I'm nervous about whether the Dodgers will get past the, the Braves, too. Right, half as tall as brother, half as good. All right, folks, we got about 30 more minutes, 30, 35 more minutes left in the break. Here's the second half, final six boxes. And then we got a few orders coming in. How is that Panini One looking? Let's see if anybody wants to do that. That sold out. Nice. Well, where, where were you guys earlier? We could have done this before the hour long break. All right, well, no, that's good. Man, listen, we'll all get done one way or the other. Appreciate that. If you don't mind waiting, thanks for waiting. Appreciate your patience. So, ladies and gentlemen, what would the... It's a little early to talk about this, but since this is a long break, what would the worst World Series matchup be? Just for, for casual fans, if you're like, listen, I'm just, uh, my teams aren't in the World Series, but I would love to see these teams, but it would be terrible if these teams were in the World Series. And we've got to take, take in consideration playoff teams. It would be, it would be like, it'd be like Astros Diamondbacks, right? Diamondbacks are, um, have, a, have a wild card possibility there. If the, if the Diamondbacks and Astros, I guess, no, maybe Cor seeing Corbin Carroll, I think people in the hobby would be interested in that. Rays with Wander on it versus the Cubs. That would be the worst? I feel like people would be up for that. If, if Wander's on a World Series team, that means most likely that the Chargers were much due about nothing, so that's a good sign. I feel like there's a lot of Cubs fans out there. Speaking of Cubs, there's Brandon Davis, the 25. I don't think that would be the worst matchup. There's Kobe Mayo. We're not holding the mayo. We're going to give it to David, who has the Orioles in this one. I mean, Rangers have a bunch of big-name players. I'm sure people would... Rangers are in... Would be... Rangers might be okay. He has Tyler Soderstrom to 50. Cubs won in 2016. That's when they won the World Series last. Their first one in like 80 years or something like that. 90 years.
There's Kai Bush to 75 for the Angels. There's the Babe, Pulsar. Oh, just, just some bands. Oh, was it 100 years? Was a, well, there only one in 100 years. It might be another 108, Rex, before you guys win another one. So 199, Jake Bennett with the Nats, Chris Parent. Well, I guess, I, I guess the Cubs have dodged a bullet with... Cubs have dodged a bullet with Chris Bryant. Fireworks, Refractor, Ellie Dela Cruz for the Reds, that's for Tristan. There's Warming Bernabeu to 199 for the Rockies, that's for Ryan. And there's Gordon Gray Sifo. That will be for Ryan Harold and the Cardinals. Jet woo woo. We got a Juan Marichal to 75 for the Giants. That will be for Matt. Larry Walker fireworks. Hey, Michael Bush for the Dodgers. That's our third autograph. Is Michael Bush playing today? He did get called up. He is not playing today. Might be the first pinch hitter off the bench, though. First lefty pinch hitter off the bench if they need one. Dodgers up 6 1, bottom of the fifth. Kershaw's at 79 pitches. He might get one more inning before they pull him. If they score some more runs here, they might even pull him now. Get some rest, Kershaw. Kirsch done for the night? Oh, wow. Face is loaded now. Who is a better Met Grizzlebees is asking? Bobby Bonilla or Javier Baez? Uh, Bonilla, right? I don't remember Baez as a Met. Is it saying something? It's always good when any team hits more than points. People threw batteries at Bonilla? Oh, that was the Pete Crow Armstrong deal. That's right. I thought only fans in Philadelphia threw, threw uh, batteries at their players. Maybe throw batteries at opposing players. All right, James Alvin, let's go. Grand slam. 2-0, green light. No outs. This is a green light situation. Grand slam. Go. There it is. No. <laughs> Fly out to center. <laughs> But that'll score a run. That's still a rib. All right, this is your purple ice hot box. Let's see if we can find any fun uh, players here. With the big name players, this is Blade Tidwell, this is Hans Lobert. I remember remember watching Hans Lobert a lot when I was a kid. One of my faves growing up. 
There's Robert Hassel, one out of 25. All right, Jace Young's pretty solid. There's a purple ice. Would John Sterling call it a home run? It is high. It is far. It is, it is caught by the second baseman, shallow center field. Isn't that right, Susan? That's right, John. It was great off the barrel. We thought it was going <laughs> to... It's exactly their voices. 31 out of 75, Josver Zulueta for Toronto. That's going to go to uh, it's going to go to Ryan Harrell. To be fair, I feel like that that that's a common, except for like Vince Scully, but I feel like it's a common occurrence for uh, for some of the older broadcasters. <laughs> There's second to none. Pudge, eight out of ten. That's going to go to Texas. That's for Mark. I feel like uh, I feel like a Dodgers radio play-by-play -play guy and former ESPN personality, Sports Center personality, uh, Charlie Steiner does play-by-play uh, -play for the Dodgers. There's Nat LaJoy to 50. Jet Williams, Ricky Henderson, Purple Ice, but he he does that pretty frequently. You know, they'll be like a. <laughs> There's a high fly ball to center field, and it is caught <laughs> at the wall by so and so. I don't know. Maybe they're not working for spotters. No, they're all they're all working with spotters anyway. This Hans Lobert again to for the Reds to 75. Willie Mays Hayes and Taj Bradley. Steiner is good. He's got a good voice. Uh, Duncan's asking, a quick wax chat. I'm on a PWC in the, uh, at the moment. Do you think the extra premium you pay for Beckett greater than MGA, for instance, pays for its home value and its sale? Uh, it's always dependent on the, uh, always dependent on the uh, player, I want to say. There's really no like-for-like like formula. It's like if Tyler Soderstrom is graded with Beckett versus MGA, then the price is X. Like there's no exact formula. I wish there was, but there isn't. 20 out of 50 are Oscar Colas. You know, even Beckett versus Beckett, like a Tyler Soderstrom Beckett PSA or Beckett 10 versus a Otani Beckett 10 is is obviously going to be is going to be different for Tyler Soderstrom. It may make a seven plus 75 percent difference for Otani. It may 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 only make a plus 25 percent difference, but Otani in general is going to sell for a lot more. So. There's really, it's hard to really create a formula for that. That you can apply to any card. In general though, in general though, yeah, I, th I think even now, even with all the other grading options that you have out there, I think PSA and Beckett are still, are still on top in terms of brand recognition, in terms of secondary market value, especially for the higher end cards. There's Seiya Suzuki to 99. For Bob and the Cubs, last spot Mojo strikes again. You think Beckett shot the sons of a 9-5 being gem mint? I, do people even, I don't know why they even they named them anything. Yeah, authentication is fine. Sorry, I didn't. In terms of authentic authentication, I'm with Grizzlebees. I, th I think I think any any big name authentication service will be pretty safe. There's Mason Hour to 149. And yeah, Ryan, you're right. Kershaw is done. Gus Varland is going to be your be your relief pitcher.
Ryan Zimmerman to 199, Sweet Lou Brock, Babe Ruth, Purple Ice, and there's a Bobby Wood Jr. Purple Ice. I think he's the only one. I don't know if there's a printing error or not. He's the only one with a rookie badge on there. That's going to go to Kip Kip Hooray in the Kansas City Royals. I mean, did they, maybe they didn't put Bobby Wood Jr. in last year's stuff? Don't know. Might make sense if that, if that was the case. Reds are getting no hit, Ryan? Now, is this the thing where, where MLB.com tells you they're getting no hit, but it's like the fifth inning? I feel like MLB.com's way too early on the no hit alerts. I get why they do it, but. They're, they're baiting people into watching the game. But it has to be like the eighth or ninth inning for me to be like, all right, that's interesting. All right, yeah, why not just do yeah, no hit alerts at the top of the second inning? They should start every game, the Grizzlies, they should start every game with no hitter until the first hit gets hit. At that, point, at that point, why not? All right, no response from Ryan. Maybe, maybe they are, it, it is at a crucial point of the game. Uh, Dodgers up 7-1. I feel like I can venture away from this game. Maybe MLB Network has it. We usually put games of note on there. Yeah. There it is. Who's the Alex Cobb is throwing this no-hitter? No hitter through eight, going into the ninth. Wow, so he's three outs away from a no hitter. He, he's sitting there on the bench, no one's talking to him. It's one out left for the Giants in the bottom of the eighth, going into the top of the ninth. They're in San Francisco. No one's warming up in the bullpen. A couple people standing up. On MLB Network, if you wanna watch along with us. There's Owen Murphy for the Braves. It's going to go to Tristan. I don't know, Grizzlebees. I'd be rooting for the hobby. I'd be rooting for Ellie Dela Cruz to, to come up to bat and break up the no-hitter for the home run. I don't know who's up next, though. Here is Gil McDonald to 75. Gil McDougal to 75. There you go, now you're talking. An inside the park home run from Ellie Dela Cruz to break up the, the Giants no hitter, the Alex Cobb no hitter. That would put some spark into a secondary market value again. I want to slide across with a, with a split. Yeah, I want him to do like some sort of Simone Biles tumble into into home. Here's uh, Daniel Susack to 149. Or I want to slide into home with an American Express card like Willie Mays Hayes, and and tell the camera, don't steal home without it. All right, we got an Emmanuel Rodriguez for Minnesota. Kevin with the Twins. You can put this in the bag, as they say. 
Remember that amazing season the old Cleveland Indians had? What a, what a team. Uh, Pedro Serrano was on that team. Roger Dorn was on that great infield on that team. The wild thing. You know. Willie Mays Hayes stealing all those bases. We got Brandon Mayer. Brandon Maya, not as not Mayer. Brandon Maya for the Yankees. That'll be for David. Sixty-seven out of ninety-nine. That's right, Rex. If it was any other team but the Giants, I would be rooting for the no-hitter. But here, I would love to see the no-hitter get broken up. Although it's Alex Cobb throwing the no-hitter, former Dodger Alex Cobb, so maybe, maybe that balances things out a little bit. It's Pedro Martinez to fifty. Alex Cobb was a decent enough guy. Was it Alex Cobb? No, Alex Cobb wasn't a Dodger. Who am I thinking of? No, who's the Alex I'm thinking about? Used to be a Brave, was a Dodger, then became a Giant. Weird, herky-jerky delivery. Who was that? No, definitely not thinking of Trevor Bauer. He was not a former Brave. He did not become a Giant after his stint with the Dodgers. There's Jack Morris. Different Alex. Alex Wood, that's right. No, this is Alex Cobb, F Alex Cobb. Sorry, Mrs. Cobb, but F Alex Cobb. If it was Alex Wood throwing the no-hitter, then I'd be like, all right, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Cobb was a Ray. There's Jackson Curio to 149. Jackson Curio is a brewer. That's going to go to Chad O. And the brew crew to 149. We're down to our final three boxes, ladies and gentlemen. cases, Grizzlebees. This was our last case of prison baseball. Anyone have any early thoughts on uh, the NFL Week 1 matchups? Any, any fun games if you're neutral? Aside from your team, any fun games that jump out of you? Lions Chiefs Thursday Night Football. That looks interesting. I'd like to see uh, you know, the Lions looked pretty good last year. We filled that pristine break. That's another hour. Uh, Lions at Chiefs. Chiefs are minus six and a half. I think the Chiefs will cover, but. Yeah, Lions. Lions, I feel like, ended up with a decent season. They looked a lot better than their record may have reflected. So it could be an interesting thing to see how they how their offseason pickups and their draft picks how that how that all has worked out. Chiefs by 50? Yeah, I think they'll cover, but I think it'll be a fun game to watch. What about Panthers Falcons Bryce Young versus Desmond Ritter? That should be pretty fun. Bengals Browns eh. Jaguars, Colts, Trevor Lawrence, Anthony Richardson. Although I think Anthony Richardson and the Colts are going to get smoked. Um, Buccaneers, Vikings, eh, Titans, Saints, eh, Niners, Steelers, eh, Cardinals, Commanders, eh. Ravens, Texas at Ravens. Houston at Texans at Ravens. C.J. Stroud, Stroud, Stroud 
versus Lamar Jackson. Wow, Baltimore's minus 10. Maybe not any of that in talking to me. Packers Bears could be interesting post Aaron Rodgers world. Yeah, exactly, Rex. Bears are minus two. I don't know when the when the Bears are I don't know when the Bears are minus two playing the Packers. Raiders at Braun, I mean obviously I'm gonna watch that game. Eagles Patriots could eh. Dolphins Chargers. Dolphins Chargers could be interesting. Tua and Justin Herbert. They were drafted within a pick of each other. Rams, Seahawks, man. Sunday Night Football looks interesting. Cowboys at Giants should always be fun. And Bills at Jets. And that's going to be a good matchup, too. Monday Night Football. All right. Onwards. Spencer Jones. Another Spencer Jones autograph for David M. and the Yankees. Gilo has been saying you've been hearing a lot about the, great, about the support system around Bryce Young. They've got a great coaching staff around them. Yeah, they did. They revamped that, that coaching staff. Hopefully, we'll see some success for those, uh, for those Panthers. Wait, why is there a man on fr Oh, that must have been a walk. Sorry, I'm paying, I, I gotta pay attention to this no hitter now. And I gotta finish off this break. Nick Senzel walked. Mookie went yard. Our friend Kip, did Matt Olson go yard today by chance? Here's Ozzie Smith to 149. Our friend, uh, friend Kip earlier today was checking in and mentioned that he had a little parlay. Mookie home run, Matt Olson home run at plus 1,200. Did not, okay. Maybe tomorrow. Here's Ozzie Smith to 149. Giants are two outs away from a no-no, an Alex Cobb no-no. And here's a Cam Collier, one of the Reds' top prospect here. Tristan with the Reds. That's a pop fly to right. That's the second out. Alex Cobb is one out away from a no-hitter. 70 out of 99 on that Cam Collier. Crowds on their feet. And there's Jose Salas to 199 for the Twins. Alex Cobb about to throw his 124th pitch. Let's go, Spencer Steer. Break this up. Let's get the comeback going. Oh, that was your pitch, Spencer. Although that sinker had some nasty movement on it, but it ended up right in the middle of the plate. There it is. Drop, 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 drop. Yes, that's a double. That scores a run. Nice, Spencer Steer. Here's one out of five, Mick Abel. That's a train whistle for Mark. Out of fives and under. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, back to the Dodgers game. Oh, Will Smith had a home run too. Dodgers up 9-1. So be before the game, the Dodgers broadcast was mentioning that uh, that start the Diamondbacks starting pitcher Merrill Kelly has made 15 starts against the Dodgers is 0 and 10 in those starts. It's crazy. He's going to be 0 and 11 now. Paul Molitor 99. Dodgers just have their number. You would think that over 16 starts that he would accidentally stumble into a win here and there, but no. We got J.R. Ritchie, another one for Tristan and the Braves. Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah. 
No, not poor Pizzle. What are you talking about? That team's going to be awesome in like three oh, years. Oh, yeah. No. Like two, three years. All those young kids, freaking Corbin Carroll and all these other young guys, Gabriel Moreno's and... Drew Jones. And, yeah, Drew Jones is going to come up in a few years. But until then. Until then, yeah. Screw the Demex. <laughs> poor Pizzle. There's Brandon Fat to 199. Bob Lemon and Willie Mays Hayes. How you doing? How you doing? Man. Yeah, no worries. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. Oh, that cosmic for me tomorrow, guys. I want to come in early. Ooh, yeah. Jason Jaspi, who's right here, generally comes in early for new release. I mean, he will. He'll be a little bit earlier, but he can come even earlier. <laughs> you can convince him. He's trying to come in at 11, like, before that. Right. Himself. Right. So Jason can come in as early as 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern, if that cosmic, which is at 7, sells out straight up. Otherwise, 12 or 1. Or two, <laughs> depending on how things are going. But listen, we can we can get a really nice jump start on the cosmic day. We've got a chance to fill all of that cosmic. Jaspiescasebreak.com. You can pre-order now. Drops on Wednesday. Coming up after this is going to be uh, that Panini One Break, and I feel like I'm seeing the same three orders here. Now I don't see any other orders coming in. So, you know, if you want to work on something else tonight, I'm down for that as well. Otherwise, pre-order, pre-order, pre-order. Are we giving away, like, the Steelers? In case football out tomorrow, giving away the Steelers if you buy at least two teams. So buy two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries. Remember that promo that we often do. That might be the last in case forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, next 20 years. that's crazy. Yeah, and it's, you might not see that again in a while. Is that another train whistle coming up? Owen Murphy for the Brave? One out of five, black and gold. Or black and yellow. Yeah. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Tristan, <laughs> all aboard the Big Hit Express. You know, they, they should do that for all sports teams. You know, Pittsburgh is the same color for all the three teams. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I won't find the... Because when you rep those colors, Bucks. you're like, yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I won't find it was like Kings, Kings purple used and gold, to have, used Lakers, purple and gold. You know. Oh, the Dodgers purple and yeah. gold would be kind of weird, right? <laughs> weird, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, at least, like, kind of rep the colors would be cool. Although those old Minneapolis jerseys are kind of like, it's a powder blue yeah, and white. Powder blue. So it's, yeah. Now, Kings, just for one year, like their third jersey, like their all third alternate jersey needs to be like Dodgers colors, and then boom. Yeah. Robin Ventura to 50. That's for the White Sox, David M. And beyond Owen Murphy is Grant McRae, Red Wave autograph for the Giants who just blew a no-hitter in the ninth with two outs left. That's uh, Matt Bristow with the Gigantes. Alex Cobb giving up a run-scoring double to uh, Spencer Steer. Should still get out of there with the win, though. Sedan Rafaela to 75, green scope for Bob and the Red Sox. Right, the Ducks could do Angels colors, gross. Ken Griffey Jr. And let's hope there's something significant here in the cards that fell over. No, it's just an Averson Arteaga to 199 and a Jim Palmer Ice. I do like that idea though, Jason. I feel like more cities should, oh, yeah, should be like one color, you know what I mean? Like, like 
I guess Seattle's kind of like that. They kind of have similar colors. Yeah, they do. You know, so like the, the color palette represents your city, you know? We got uh, Brian Rokio. Rokio? I think it's Rokio. Pinocchio? Brian Pinocchio. That's going to go to Cleveland. This is for you. Tristan. Cleveland, this is for you. 38 out of 50 on that. Nolan Ryan to 149. Rangers and a Bobby Wood Jr. Prism or Hyper Parallel, they call it in this world. Yeah, I think he's on fire. MV, MVP. Yeah, nailed it, Grizzlebee. I got it. I got it. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? I'll give everybody one guess. And if you guess it right, I'll give you five dollars of break credit. You have to be registered to the site so I know where to send it. One guess, one guess only. Any subsequent guesses will be. Uh, you make two guesses. I'm going to eliminate all of your guesses. So just do one guess. Babe Ruth Red. Uh, Grizzlebees, I'm going to need a first name on Dominguez. Can't just be Dominguez. Jason Dominguez. I'm assuming Ryan Harold, you're talking about Masataka Yoshida. Not the not um not not Frank Yoshida from the uh, from the 1970s. Don't forget about Jimmy Yoshida. I remember him. He had a stint with the Giants in 1984, I want to say. Wait, was Pat Morita Jimmy Yoshida? Mazataka, yes. All right, just making sure, Ryan, no one else wants to play? All you got to do is guess the redemption. That's the easiest thing you got to do. What if I made it $10 of break credit? Would that move the needle for anybody? Would that get someone to guess? And I wonder if people are just like chilling next to their laptops and they're like, now I gotta get up, I gotta go across the room, I gotta sit down and type some, some name. Oh, you'll still get your 10 if it's Yoshida, right? I'm just trying to solicit more guesses here. Ken Griffey Jr. Manga. I was wondering when this one was gonna, where this one was gonna be. That's Stephen Kendrick and the Mariners. That's pretty sharp. I, I dig that. Steve Carlton to 149. We got Zach Nito. Nito. It's a Nito hit. Potential penmanship for the Halos. That's going to be for David M. Archie Vaughn. <laughs> Archie Vaughn. <laughs> remember that old Sunday school song about the uh, about the Ark? Ever remember that? Everyone go to Sunday school? 
God said to Noah, he's going to build an arky arky. <laughs> build it up with gold for arky arky. <laughs> arky arky. We got Daniel Espino to 99. Classic, classic Sunday school song, Grizz. Looks like these other, no, no, all these other heathens in the chat <laughs> didn't go to Sunday school, apparently. <laughs> Build him an Archie Vaughn. We got another Spencer Jones. That's for David and the Yankees. Ryan says, I'm Jamaican. You didn't have any, have any uh, goy friends that will, uh, th that will fill you in on these wacky Sunday school songs? We got Matt Williams to 149. Your school taught a different pace of building art to drown all sinners. Oh, see, that's that's where the fun gets taken out of all this stuff. That's when it becomes not fun. The the fire and brimstone. Oh, more points. Winner take all on the points. That's a nice fat set of points there for somebody. <laughs> Maybe you should have shared some of your favorite uh, school songs. It's out of 199, Warming Burn a Bell. Got Willie Mays. Jackson Ferris to 149, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Ice. All right, really, no one, no other guesses. We got Jason Dominguez from Grizzlebees. We've got um, Masataka Yoshida guess right here for ten dollars a break credit. Uh, Gilo, you want to just name a random baseball player in this prison baseball set? Rex, name a random baseball player not named uh, Dominguez and Yoshida have already been guessed. Wait, what? What kind of Sunday school do you go to, Rex? Mm, that's weird. What about what about a uh, what about a classic like uh, I? Don't build your house on the sandy land. Don't build it too near the shore. All right. Oh, I better close the guest window. No reason. All right, guest window closed. You can see it in the chat right there. And it's gonna be... It's Ellie Dela Cruz. That's a nice way to end it. Potential penmanship going to Tristan and the Reds, but the Reds straight up. Cincinnati Reds. Nice. All right, gang. We'll do a recap in a second. There's a, what's, what's nine plus nine plus four, or whatever that is, that amount of points being given away. So let's go back to the list. So let's gather everybody's names from Chris all the way down to Chris and everybody in between. Winner take all on the points. And let's roll and randomize it. Two and a five, seven times. Name on top gets all the points after seven. 
You sang that song in Sunday School, Rex? We, we were not singing John Denver songs in Sunday School. Five, six, and seventh and final time. All right. Name on top, all of the points. Not Matt, sorry Matt, very close, not quite. But all the points going to Stephen K. Wow, got the, got the uh, Mariners, got the Griffey Jr. manga, and nine plus nine plus four with zeros at the end points. All right, there you go. Congrats, and now quick little recap. And that was out of five. Got some Cam Colliers, another out of five. Some solid stuff, say a Suzuki, Colas, Bobby Wood Jr., Purple Ice, Michael Bush, Mayo, Angel Acuna, Zach Veen was nice. He's one of their top picks for the uh, Rockies. Bobby Miller's having a nice season. Spencer Jones is great. Gold, Brandon Fat. Gold, Jack Leiter. Another Bobby Miller, Kevin Alcantara, the L.A. Dela Cruz, and the and some cardboard dust on here, but there is the manga, Ken Griffey Jr. Very nice. And all those points also for Stephen K. and the Ken Griffey Jr. spot. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for Jaspi's K. That, that's right, Grizzlebees. Nice one. Two Millers and a Bush for the Dodgers. That's enough to get you tipsy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching and breaking with us. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.